And we're also expecting to hear from Governor DeSantis on testing today. He's also speaking out about conditions at an assisted living facility in Fort Lauderdale, where now a third person has died. Federal and state health officials are now working there, and the governor is once again blaming the leadership at Atria Willow Care Facility. But as CBS 4's Ty Russell reports, those leaders say they have been working to protect their residents for weeks. Governor Ron DeSantis announced a third coronavirus related death at this Broward assisted living facility. And during a Saturday evening news conference, the governor blamed the people running it and said they failed to protect the most vulnerable. If you're in this business to take care of people uh, who may be susceptible to this, um, you shouldn't need to have someone breathing down your uh, down your neck. You should do the right thing. Now, law enforcement, a CDC infection control specialist, and the state agency for healthcare administration are at Atria Willow Care along Commercial Boulevard and Northwest 31st Avenue. As of Saturday night, leaders at the facility say seven residents who've tested positive for the virus are in the hospital. They're waiting on the results of five others. The governor believes a lack of workers following the federal and state mandated screening caused this outbreak. Guard access to these, make sure who's going in is being screened. They had sick construction workers, sick uh, hospital staff. They had six sick people in the food service. Facility leaders are pushing back. In an email to us, a spokesperson said the governor's comments both yesterday and today were unfair and an inaccurate description of many steps we have taken to protect the health and safety of our residents. Beginning March 4th, we have been actively screening all visitors and prohibiting anyone from working in the community if he or she is unable to pass our screening, well before any state guidance on this was provided. As soon as the Department of Health office in Broward County notified us of the first confirmed case on March 16th, we immediately escalated our protocols within the community. A spokesperson went on to say, the state and local agencies have reviewed all of our protocols every step of the way, including as recently as yesterday, and they have been supportive of our enhanced protocols and complementary of our responses generally. To say that we are not doing everything in our power to keep our residents and employees safe is unacceptable, inaccurate, and reckless. Late Saturday night, I also reached out again to officials at the facility asking if they know of the source and how so many people became sick. Then the spokesperson sent me the same statement they sent earlier and didn't answer those specific questions. We are in Broward County. I'm Ty Russell, CBS4 this morning.